This is a good way to start cooking. Not a bad day, eh? <laughs> right. Beautiful. You. Thank you. You're welcome. It's organic Sauvignon Blanc. I think it's a great way to start. And what are we going to have with it? We're going to have caramelized cauliflower on a bit of a cauliflower painting with uh, some free-range beef tartare, and we're going to keep it very natural. Beautiful. Simple. Sounds amazing. You can actually start off with me. Cauliflower's over there. I've just lightly steamed it, so you need mm -hmm. to caramelize it for me. Okay, Where's the great. blowtorch? I'll just put these on here. Yeah. We'll make yeah. sure we don't start any, any forest fires. You can take uh, just the back of the fork, mm -hmm. drizzle some oil on, give it a nice little rub. Okay, just like this? Just a little bit, otherwise it's just not going to caramelize nicely. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start the painting. So I've got a little stencil made. Start off with a straight cauliflower puree. Now Chris, tell me more about this painting. Well, the restaurant's inspired by Jakubus Hendrik Pienhoff, who was one of the first really famous artist in South Africa. He died in the late 40s and his, his art became very, very famous. And he was uh, an architect before he became a painter. So his stuff's very architectural, very structural, but he does landscapes. Mm -hmm. This landscape specifically fits in with where I grew up. And this little tree, which is the cauliflower, is a durenboom, which is a thorn tree. So what I'm going to do now is take this off and clean it up a bit. So that's now our canvas. That's our blank page that we're going to paint on. Mm -hmm. Now, over here I've got some cauliflower puree as well, which uh, has a little bit of squid ink in it, just to give it some colour. Chris, one of the great things about squid ink, it's all natural, but you get that amazing, vibrant black colour. Exactly, we don't want anything artificial on this dish. One thing I know is my hands are way too shaky for that delicate piping. This is looking beautiful. So that's the clouds in the background, that's uh, the foreground. We're gonna put the little tree up. This little guy goes right in the centre. That's our tree on yeah. the horizon. Wow. Yeah. Two little bushes going around here. One there, one a little further away. Right, I've got some beautiful free-range beef and I'm using the rum. Beautiful. It's got a little bit more texture. If you chop it up into little blocks for me. Mm -hmm. To me, free-range beef is always best. And I think it has a much richer flavour. You also know the animals aren't given routine antibiotics or growth hormones. Right, you've done all the hard work. I wouldn't say that. Look at that no. masterpiece. <laughs> it's not much there. <laughs> you did all the chopping. All right, add it in there. All we're going to do is a little bit of mold and salt. Mm -hmm. This is uh, porcinis that I picked in, or bullets that I picked in the forest a few weeks ago, and I ferment, wow. fermented them under vacuum with a bit of salt. It's called lactic fermentation. I've got some sorrel stems. Okay. I use the stems because uh, it's got texture and it's got all the moisture in them, so it's Beautiful. got a nice crunch and that's the acidity. Now the olive oil. Yes, just a touch. Lovely. Right, so now we just mix it. Little taste. Yeah, I think so. Of course. I'm gonna try it, jump in there as well. Mm. It's got earthy, oh, wow. salty, mm -hmm. sour. South African palate goes for that. To add colour to the canvas, we're including oven roasted baby beets seasoned with olive oil. And your sorrel? Yeah. Two of these guys, a little bit of salt. And there we're done. Wow, that looks absolutely incredible. Pretty as a picture, and I think it's good enough to eat as well. A little final touch on some fennel flowers, uh -huh. some licorice taste, and let's get in there. Wow, that is incredible. All like those that. different flavours floating around there. Art, food and wine. Art, food and wine. It's a perfect way to finish the day, I think. Cheers, Thank mate. you. Cheers. Yeah.